According to my research, I found that it's best to use the 3-4 clutch along with the 3.0 fan. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. This right here is a 3.0 fan, 3.0 clutch. This right here is a 3.4 clutch and the 3.4 fan. They are completely compatible. So you can put the clutch, you can put any setup you want. But from what I hear, they say that it's best to go with the 3.4 clutch with the 3.0 fan. So this is the preferred setup. So this is 3.4 clutch, 3.0 fan. Um, they both fit nicely. According to what I heard, I heard that uh, if you use the 3.0, no, if you use the 3.4 fan, it has trouble clearing the fan shroud on the 3.0 radiator. I don't have a fan shroud, so it doesn't really matter. But for now, I'm just going to go and run this setup, the 3.4 clutch, and then also have the 3.4, 3.0 fan. I'll go ahead and save the 3.0 fan clutch and also the 3.4 fan here. I'll go ahead and save these for backup just for future uses. But this is the setup we're going to go for. It's the same style. Um, both of the fan clutch look very, very similar. <coughs> Again, same uh, same bolt pattern for the fan and then same bolt pattern on each side. This is a 3.0, 3.4. The only thing I noticed is that the fins here, <coughs> the fins are a little, a little bit more thinner on the 3.4. And if you were to look at it from this side here, uh, side angle, I feel like the 3.4 is a bit bigger or a bit wider. But I don't know. It's really hard to tell which one is better. But they both uh, they both work perfectly fine, according to my research. Both of them are still the ASIN. So I'm assuming these two might be the original one off the two vehicles. Uh, the 3.0, this is from Rusty Red. This was Rusty's Red fan clutch and fan. And then the 3-4 was from the White Runner. But it looks really good and clean. We're just gonna go ahead and bolt them back up. So again, we're going for the we're going for the 3-4 clutch with the 3-0 fan. And then the 3-0 and the 3-4 fan. We're gonna go, go ahead and set these aside for our spare parts. Today's video, I'm installing the crossover. I'm installing the clutch flywheel. So we have the crossover install new gasket new nuts <clears throat> you can see it clears all the bell housing bolts this one could sit a little bit higher but i think it'll be fine make sure you have this plate on this plate goes behind the flywheel if you install your clutch no if you install your flywheel you forget this plate you have to take it back off we have a new rear main seal behind this new pilot bearing nice and smooth and then uh, I have all new flywheel bolts. These are three, four flywheel bolts. I did went ahead and add a little bit of blue Loctite. And then uh, you're supposed to torque them to 63 foot pound. I haven't torqued them yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and torque it. And then I'll go ahead and clean this surface. Make sure it's nice and clean, brake, brake cleaner. And then we'll go ahead and install the clutch. This flywheel is a Luke. And then the clutch and the pressure plate is from ASIN. For the clutch on the 3-4 motor, it's very important that when you install the clutch disc, the clutch disc says TM transmission side. So what they're saying is that they want you to have this facing out. And that's the incorrect way. You can see here, the transmission side is way more uh, pointed out versus the other side. And on the 3-4 motor, according to the manual transmission, um, no, according to the uh, manual book, you want the side that's pointing out most into the flywheel, into the crank. So this is the correct position. And the way they did that is, the, re the reason why that's being is because this clutch disc right here is actually used in multiple different type of engine. So on other engine, yes, it does go this way. But on the 3-4 motor, it must go this way. So make sure that you go according to the manual book and not the uh, clutch instruction. Here it is, the 3-4 motor is completely done. Crossover install, flywheel install, the backing plates install, new pilot bearing, new rear main seal, new clutch, new pressure plate. <laughs> this is your alignment tool, make sure it's aligned. If it doesn't align right, your input shaft for your uh, transmission will not slide in and get into the correct position. So make sure you have that 
properly lined up these bolts here you have six of them that hold this guy here six of those guys the torque pound the torque spec is about 14 foot pound i did about 15 foot pound and i also put some uh put some blue loctite on them just for extra insurance so this is pretty much it for the clutch and um this is the clutch install and i want to remind everybody that on this on the three four swap when you're using a 3.4 um you can use the 3.4 clutch or the 3.0 clutch but the transmission you must use the throwout bearing that's made for that so for example this one here is a 3.4 throwout bearing for the 3.4 but has a different transmission i can't use this i have to use a 3.0 throwout bearing which i have separately so you can use the 3.4 or the 3.0 I'm using the 3-0, the 3-4 clutch and the 3-4 clutch.